trust in the process may never be lower. Joining me now, WIP in Philly, Joe DeCamera. And Joe, I want to ask you what's next for Philly this offseason, but it's really just another way of saying, what does Philly do with Ben Simmons? Yeah, well, what's next is they got to trade him, Peter. There's no question about it. Ben Simmons has to go. Uh, you can't trust them. And it doesn't really matter what I think, you know, and it doesn't matter what millions of people that are 76ers fans think. It matters what Joel Embiid thinks. You can't imagine, I can't imagine a scenario where Joel Embiid can trust Ben Simmons anymore. They've tried it four times now in the postseason. There's one postseason Ben missed last year when he was injured. You know, Ben obviously can be can be a good player. He's shown enough in his years that he can be a good player, but he's also shown that he, he really turtles up in the postseason. He struggles against defenses that have a strategy for how to defend him over a seven game series. He really struggled with the hack of Ben when teams were failing him intentionally. The Wizards did it. And then in this round, obviously it happened with the Hawks as well. No doubt in my mind that psychologically affected him dramatically. So the Sixers got to dump him and they're going to dump him for, you know, pennies on the dollar of certainly what we used to perceive his value to be. They must, must, must trade Ben Simmons. There's not a shred or a shadow of doubt in my mind, they must trade him. And this was something that started immediately after the game. Joel Embiid made a comment about the turning point in the game being essentially Ben Simmons passing up a dunk uh, and, and missed free throws. Doc Rivers was asked after the game if, if Ben Simmons can be the point guard on a title team. And he said, I don't know how to answer that. So if you're gonna trade Ben Simmons, you mentioned getting pennies on the dollar for what we used to think he would be worth. What do you need if you're the Sixers to get back? Because it's probably not going to be, you know, we're not that far removed from him being the centerpiece of a James Harden deal. It's not going to be that. No, and, and it's a hard question for me to answer, Peter, honestly, because I, it's hard for me to evaluate less than 24 hours after that game ended just how low his value has, has shrunk. I really right. don't know the answer to that. I know names that we used to talk about, like Damian Lillard or Clay Thompson or... Bradley Beal or, you know, pick other, you know, good players in the league, very good players, uh, are not even remotely on the table. I, I tend to think the Sixers will get one of the following two types of trades back. I think they'll either get a player or a collection of players that are really underwhelming names that in previous years we never even would have considered the possibility of trading Ben Simmons for. So I don't know who that could be. Any combination of names, he'd be like, well, I don't really want those guys, but <laughs> you might have to make that trade. And then the other trade scenario I see as a possibility is someone else's damaged goods, whether it's because of a horrible contract or because of an injury or because of age. You know, you look last week, Kemba Walker and Al Horford got traded. Does anyone in the league really want either player for those contracts, given their injuries or age? Of course not. But they got traded for each other because one team says, well, I can't deal with this guy anymore. And the other team says, well, I can't deal with this guy anymore. And they say, all right, well, let's just swap your problem for my problem. So I see a scenario where Joel Embiid's either traded for a bunch of random dudes that most people don't know much about or someone else's problem. It's going to be one or the other, one or the other.